Sultan on good morning, good night. Whatever you are as a Ugandan. James William Mugeni is my name. I am a medical clinic officer by profession. Um, and a Ugandan. Mr. Seriko, I'm one of those Ugandans who might not even understand the bill, you guys, or the law. You guys have just passed in the parliament of Uganda and waiting for the president to ascend on it. I don't understand it myself, but um, as a concerned citizen, I just want to say something. Because I've seen a lot of discussions going on here and there. Yesterday I saw a space where people who call themselves land or lawyers were discussing your so-called law on computer misuse, whatever you talk about. Mr. Nseriko, you people visit us in the United States of America. You come here and visit. I wish you take time to learn a few things here and there because some of the things these people do are not rocket science. Mr. Nseriko, after COVID-19, the world is flat. The world needs innovations. The world needs innovators. Mr. Sereko, the state where I am, the state where I am has partnered with Google under what they call workforce development. Workforce development. Mr. Sereko, the state gives free laptops. I got one. I remember I went with some three Ugandans and each of us got a free laptop. And after getting a free laptop, the state is engaging citizens in what they call workforce development. And with the Google, they throw courses, free online courses online, you train uh, in possible areas where you are good at, whether in health, engineering, technology, whatever. I, whatever, computer, whatever, people try to engage and train. I recently got my Google certificate also. After completing a course online, under what they call workforce development, instead of that is a way as the state is engaging its citizens and some of us who are strangers in America here. So you people come up with so many stifling laws you come up with the things that don't help. The younger people whom you think you're making laws for are simply telling you you have nothing you're offering. All the laws you will bring, all the laws you bring are not helping. You need to make Uganda more free and more innovative. If the state where I am can partner with Google to make sure there are free online courses, and they even offer free laptops. And for you people are talking about computer misuse. To me, the state where I am, if they talked about computer misuse, I would definitely oblige. And besides that, even when I'm logging on this computer of theirs, because with the password they gave me, because I did not even change the password, they gave me a, a laptop with a password. I log on and go for Google courses and I start training. If they talked about misuse, I would, I would oblige. I would say, yes, perhaps I'm misusing the computer. But that tells you how I cannot even misuse the computer because the state is engaging me. The state is engaging us. Workforce development. If you come to America and you decide to bring for us t-shirts from Museveni, on display, when you, go, when you are given a display stage, you go, what if Museveni's t-shirts are watching this? Bring it. Seven t-shirts to America where people go to the moon. And yeah, you know, oh, somebody one time said, as the rest of the world, like America, yeah, they're struggling to go to the moon. For us, we're always struggling to see who will first push to the grave. Instead of you are struggling to see that you're pushing Ugandans to the grave. The state where I am has given free laptops and partnered with Google. We also have Google in Uganda. We have MTN and the rest of those. How much are they partnering with the country to pull the Uganda in the abyss where we are? We don't need more stifling laws, but to be innovative. We say the people wake up. I sometimes get so disappointed when I see the elites discussing in Uganda. The state where I am has just given free laptops. 
workforce development. You sit in your house, you go to Google, there is a course. Once they look at your CV, they give you possible courses of training. And it's free. How much do you want to control Uganda rather than help Ugandans come out of the abyss? Thank you for listening.